Hey guys, Phil from Filmington here. Um, just wanted to provide a recap on the cards that I plan on submitting to Mike O's um, large group or bulk PSA submission. Um, so I decided on about 30 cards or so, and here they are. So we have a 1992 Tops Gold Dark Jeter, hoping to get a PSA 9 on that. We have a 1997 Flare Ultra, David Arias or David Ortiz, rookie. Um, hoping to get a PSA 9 on that. And not all of these cards were shown in the uh, the last longer video when I was actually searching for the cards to, to put forward for submission. Um, I found them afterwards. So this is uh, Jackie Robinson, 1955 tops. Hoping to get a... PSA two and a half or three on that. I believe this is a 1959 Tops Frank Robinson, hoping for a PSA seven or seven and a half. Sharp corners there. This is a 1981 Tops Minor League Weight Boggs. Um, this came out of a, a gem slab. I cracked it. It's in pretty good shape. It's at least a PSA nine, but the question, um, as always, with stuff that's in G uh, gem slabs, is whether or not it's been trimmed. So it's Probably authentic, but it might be trimmed, hence the, the four pretty sharp corners here. We got a second year Hank Aaron, 1954 tops. This I'm hoping for a, a PSA three or, yeah, I'd say probably a PSA three or three and a half. Centering's pretty good. We have a Justin Turner, 2008 Bowman Chrome, first year. Uh, I do not believe he had an autograph, so this holds more value than it would otherwise. This one, I'm hoping for a PSA 9 or 10. We have a 92 Tops Jeter, or sorry, 93 Tops Jeter. Uh, this one's got really good centering. I'm hoping for a PSA 9 or 10, probably a 9. Same thing here. This one's centering is a little bit off, um, at least top to bottom. Either that or the one before it's off. I don't know. They, they seem different, though. Uh, again, PSA 9 probably on that. This one is a 92 Bowman Rivera rookie. Uh, left right centering's a bit off. Corners and edges are pretty good. Surface looks clean. Hoping for PSA 9. We have a 85, no, sorry, 83 Fleer, Tony Gwynn rookie. Um, rookie cards are a lot easier to find in good shape in Don Ross and Fleer. Tops, not so much. Plus, his tops card is most valuable. Uh, probably irrespective of that. So, uh, but anyways, I'm still hoping for a PSA 9 in this uh, FLIR. We have a 68 Tops Willie Mays. I really don't know what to expect here. Uh, I'm not good at evaluating this this product, I guess. I guess probably like a PSA 5 or 5.5 five or something. 5 probably more likely. Centering is good. Not always easy to find with the 68 Tops. We have... 257 tops cards um, that I submitted before that got rejected. I put a minimum grade of six and a half, hoping for a five and a half or six. Um, Willie Mays and Clemente, two very nice cards there in great shape. 1933 Gaudi, Jimmy Fox. Um, I submitted this one to PSA already, came back, didn't meet minimum grade. I put a three. To me, it looks like a three, but maybe it's, I don't know, two and a half or something. It'd be nice to get that three still. This is a Javi Baez Mini, um, not his rookie card, which I'm realizing now. So maybe, um, well, it's a 2014 at least, um, numbered to 99. But this one I'm hoping for a PSA 10. And I might have second thoughts. Maybe I won't submit this, but Javi Baez had a great year. Xander Bogarts, this is a 2013 Red Wave, numbered to 25. Hoping for a PSA 10. That'd be nice. I got an 85 Don Russ, Nolan Ryan, hoping for at least a PSA 9 here. Um, outside chance of getting a 10. 86 tops, Bo Jackson, probably going to get a PSA 9 here, I'm thinking. Oh, this would be nice to get in a 10, but um, you never know. This is a 98 Bowman. Sorry, 97 Bowman. Halliday's a real rookie card. Um, hoping for a PSA 9 here, really, um, but could get a 10, which would be sweet. 
2001 Upper Deck Albert Pools. Probably going to, or hoping, shooting for a PSA 9 here. And we got a Mike Trout 2011 Bowman Chrome. Um, not his best Bowman Chrome non-signed card, but uh, this could fetch a PSA 9, I'm thinking. Outside chance at a 10. Who knows? And then, lastly, we have a 1954 Tops Jackie Robinson, hoping for a PSA 3 here. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, I did crack one other card out of a sketchy slab. This is why you don't buy cards in those slabs. Plus, they have no resale value, um, really. You're just kind of betting on a bunch of amateurs bidding it up that don't really know what they're doing, which is why I ended up with a card. So this card, pretty clearly, once you take it out of this lab, you can tell that it's not a perfect square, um, meaning there's no, <laughs> there's there's three corners that have a 90 degree angle. The other one's a little bit off. It was trimmed to enhance the, the corner, I believe, and put in a, it was called an AGS or advanced grading system slab. Uh, so I was able to get that out. I won't be submitting this. I don't know what to do with this actually, but uh, don't feel comfortable selling it. Do have my first um, somewhat big show. This weekend, I got a table in, um, in Woburn at my weekly recurring show um, that I go to as a guest, but now it'll be my first time to, to sell some stuff. So before I can send all the stuff to, to Mike O um, and have it be part of his bulk PSA submission, I really want to get some new card savers, I think. I'm going to use card saver ones. Um, they seem to be a bit easier to work with when you're putting cards in there. Um, not quite as safe. There's always that risk of them moving when you're shipping them. But... Um, but I, I like the fact that I won't. I know I won't be damaging the corners when I'm putting them in there, and I'll just roll the dice when I send them out. But I think that's usually most people's favorite, especially with older cards with slightly thicker stock um, and really sensitive corners and edges there, sensitive paint all around. You don't want to really be messing with um, the card saver twos. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed my recap video. Um, leave me a comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Thanks, out.